here i am showing example implementation of unordered singly linked list in python in unordered linked list we don't care about order of the data so here i have created a node class in node class i have defined two instance variable one the self dot data first one is self dot data to store data then i have defined self dot nest underscore node to so to store the node object then here i have defined a method get data to get the data from node object then get nest underscore node to get the nest node then this method set nest node to set the nest node so this is the definition of node class then let me move to linked list class in linked list class there you can see instance variable self dot head this self dot head will point to the head node head node of the linked list then i have defined this method insert node to insert new node to linked list then size to get the size of the linked list then search to search for a particular data in the linked list then remove method to remove a particular node from the linked list then esmd this will check whether this linked list is md or not so in let me start with uh, insert method in insert method actually basically we pass one data so uh, here you can see i have created a object of linked list when you create this object this self dot head will be none because i am not passing any node when i create object of linked list then i am calling insert node method of linked list and passing data to so when i call this insert node method so control will come here and that data to will come here then here i am passing that to to node class so here i am creating object of node class that to will come here then i set that to to self dot data is equal to okay so then that object of that node class i am saving in variable node then i am invoking the nest get set nest node method of that uh, node object and passing that uh, current head right now current head is uh, none so i am passing that current head node to uh, that uh, set nest node uh, method after that what i am doing i am set here i am setting head node to the node which i created i am pass, uh, setting head node to the new node which i created okay so when i invoke nest one nest insert node method what will happen so that three will come here then using that three and we create a node object okay then 
in that node object we invoke set nest node method in that method we pass what the current head what is the current head node the current head node is 2 right so that uh, not of the two we pass to this method after that we set the node 3 as head node so this process we continue for all this uh, method call so that is what how insert work then here the tank obesity to insert one node is o, o, uh, o of 1 the here tank obesity is constant because we are just uh, adding new node to the one side of the head node then we set the head node uh, new node as the head node so in size method what we have to do we have to iterate to all the node so basically we start from start with the head node first we taking here we are taking head node then we are just incrementing count then from head node that is a current node is the head node from head node we find the nest node and we are setting nest node as the current node so we basically we will loop through all the node then just incrementing the count so from that we will get the size of the linked list here time complexity is o of n because we need to go through all the nodes then we go to search in search also we do the same thing what we done in the size the same thing only difference is here we, we, we check the data in the search method we uh, pass the data so while iterating through the node we just do a one if check if data is equal to the data which we passed if it match we just return true okay so here time complexity in worst case scenario it's o of n okay it's because the, the data which we are trying to search if it is not there on the linked list we have to go to all the nodes because of that case that reason the time complexity is o of n in worst case, worst case scenario then let me move to the remove method in remove method we just pass one data so using that data we have to iterate to we have to go through all the nodes and find the node which match the data so this while loop will find the node so if you found the node if we just set the variable is equal to true that means we found the node in the linked list then if you found the node what do we do so what we do when you find found a node there will be a previous node and nest node okay the, the node which you found we need to remove that the, that node from the linked list then we need to join previous node and nest node so that is what we are doing here So when you find when, when when we find a node there will be a previous node so from in previous node we invoke previous node node dot set nest node so when you remove a node the nest node of the previous node should be the nest node of the removed node so that is what i am doing here so here one you can see one else statement because suppose the node which you are trying to remove is the first node 
in that case what we need to do so we, we just need uh, you just have to set the head no, uh, nest node of the head node as the head node that is what i am doing here so in this md method we just check if self dot head is none that means that linked list is none so let me execute this program and see let me create a class not class then linked list class then here i am creating linked list object of linked list then inserting 2 3 4 5 and 6 okay after that i am checking the size I am invoking l1 dot size. See, it's written five because I inserted one, two, three, four, five, five data. That means I have created five nodes in this linked list. That is what it shows here. Then I am searching for data four. So it, it, uh, it turns true because that data is there in that linked list. Then I am removing 4 from the linked list. 4 I removed. Now let me search 4 again. See now it returns false. That means that data is not there in the linked list. So let me remove 6 also. 6 I removed. Now let me search for 6. Oh, now 6 is not there false next i am going to create another linked list l2 okay then i am checking is that linked list is empty because when i create new object of l2 i haven't created i haven't added any node to that linked list so this should be empty let me run that see it returns true that means it's empty now let me add one node Okay, I added one node. Now let me check. Is it empty? Now it's not empty. See. So this is an example of how to implement unordered singly linked list in Python.